Well, hi, friends, and welcome back to another daily devotional. Good Saturday to you. This is a very special Saturday for us here at the Vineyard because we are right now in the middle of a 40-hour, round-the-clock time of prayer and fasting as we seek the Lord uh, and just seek His favor to heal our land. It's coming from 2 Chronicles seven fourteen in your Bibles. If my people, that's us, who are called by my name, that's us, will humble themselves, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. And that's what we're praying about this weekend. We're praying about asking God to heal our land, to heal our land of this vicious pandemic, this disease that is killing so many. We're asking God to conquer it and cancel it in the name of Jesus. We're also asking God to come and bring healing to the divisions in our land, especially among believers. And we just, we're just praying for God to come and bring healing. The scriptures show that God wants to, but he said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from my, their wicked ways, then will I. And so God wants to, we just need to come to him, humble ourselves, seek his face, pray, repent. Uh, if you haven't already joined us in this, uh, in this prayer time this weekend at the Vineyard, I hope you will. Uh, we're going to be going through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, around the clock, at the top of every hour. Somebody's going to step up to the microphone here and lead in a time of prayer. And the rest of the hour will just be free-flowing prayer throughout the property. And we're going to do that for 40 hours. Now, listen, if you, if you can't come to the property and pray with us, we understand, but we'll also be putting the, all of this on our digital platform so that, that, that you, during that time, you can come and you can join us and, and you can enter into that time of prayer with us that God would heal our land. And listen, I believe that Sunday morning is going to be amazing because we just spent 40 hours of prayer and fasting before the Lord. Where, where so many just came and called on the name of the Lord. I'm just really looking forward to Sunday morning and the move of the Lord among us. I hope you'll come and join us either in person or virtually uh, in that as well. Listen, I need to tell you, I'm going to take a break from making these devotions for a little while, for a few weeks, for a couple reasons. One is I got something personal I have to take care of, but second, because the model of Jesus couldn't be more clear in that when he did some the powerful stuff, when he had power encounters, if you will, it was very common for him to, to go off and to be by himself to pray. And, and I have always tried to follow that model. I, I think if Jesus had to do that, certainly a pastor should do that. And I'm, I know that in this 40 hours of prayer and in, in the services that follow on Sunday morning, I'm really expecting for a huge outpouring of the Holy Spirit which will require me then to do what Jesus did and just go off and, and pray and recharge so that I can continue the ministry God has called me to here at the Vineyard. But there's good news in that. There's very good news in that in my absence, uh, two other pastors on our staff, Heather Fleck and, and Chase Smith, they'll be entering into the rotation of making these devotionals each day. And the good news is they're not gonna stop once I come back. We're gonna use all four of the pastors that we have on staff here to bring these devotionals to you. So that's the good news. Hey, listen, I love you guys in the Lord and I wanna just re remind you what we're doing here this weekend. I hope you'll come either in person or virtually and be a part of asking God to heal our land. God bless you guys. Remember, live by faith and walk in wisdom.